Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to enable bubble chat in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're gonna to wanna to have Roblox Studio open. So you may have played a game recently where you were able to type into the chat bar and then it would show up as a bubble and the text would show up over your character. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And first we need to go ahead and have a game open. So I'm just gonna start with one of their uh, templates here. Let's just start with the Pirate Island. You can do it with any game that you're working with. It will work the same. So the first thing that you wanna do if you wanna enable the bubble chat is you need to hit play and we're gonna get some settings from this when we do this. So once you hit play, everything will load and you wanna make sure your Explorer and Properties are open on the right. If you can't find those, then you need to go to View and then click on Explore and Properties and that will bring those up. So you wanna start in the Explorer tab and then go down to Chat. And then you wanna click the arrow there so that it will open up the chat settings. And right here where it says Client Chat Modules, you're just gonna highlight that and then right click and you're going to copy. You can also hit Control C with it highlighted. So now we were able to copy that folder and I'm gonna show you what to do with that in a second. So we'll go ahead and stop the gameplay. So now that you have the gameplay stopped, you're able to change the settings of your game. So go back over to the Explore tab, and then if you go to chat, you'll notice there's no drop down anymore. So right now, let's just go ahead and highlight it, and then you wanna right click, and then you want to paste into. You can also do Control Shift V. Um, if you're having any problems with that, you could also add a folder and then and paste it into there as well. But this is the easier way to do that. So you want to click the drop down for client chat modules and then you'll want to go to chat settings and you want to double click on chat settings and that will open up the chat settings in a uh, tab here. And so once you have that open, you want to go to around line 27 or so, 26, it depends. Um, you want to look for where it says bubble chat enabled, right? Module dot bubble chat enabled. And after the equal sign, we're just going to delete what they have there and then we're going to change that to true. Um, if you're familiar with code, this is a Boolean line of code, so it can be true or false. And so now we just made it true. Now that will work. So if I go ahead and go back to my game and I go to play, uh, when I type into the chat bar, it should show the bubble chat will be here. So I just uh, press enter and then there it is. It says bubble chat will be here. And so I, whatever I type here will be uh, put into the bubble chat over top of my character. And so I can move around uh, with my character um, let's say I want to get out of chat and I want to move around. Um, I can go ahead and then chat something else. And let's say another try. And then there we go. So each time you do that, it's there. So if you're having any problems with that, you can go down to the uh, chat settings again. And so Explorer and then chat. And then you might want to delete everything that's there besides uh, the chat settings. So I'm going to click on the chat location, just click on delete. And then um, same thing, you can right click and then click delete. Or you can um, press shift and then select all of it and then that will also delete everything so uh, you will be left with the uh, chat and then the uh, chat modules and then the chat settings and uh, so that should clear up any problems you might have with the uh, script that we changed in the chat settings so you now know how to enable bubble chat in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.